These days, big and beautiful images are everywhere in web design. In fact, using large background images can make your website look more attractive and create more user engagement. It has actually been found that image-heavy websites convert better, so that's great news. So you totally have to know how to work with images. And with that I mean that you should learn how to effectively put text over images. There are a few techniques for doing this and we are gonna go through the most important of them in this lecture. First, the easiest way is to put text directly on an image. The problem is that this only works if the image is quite dark and your text is white. Otherwise, you will not have enough contrast between your image and your text. And that's exactly what happens in this website. I mean, I like the design, but the white text in the headline is quite difficult to read because the image is also quite bright. So I wouldn't encourage you to use this method because it can make text very difficult to read if you don't make it right. The easiest solution to this problem, we saw before, is to overlay the image with a color. The most usual and of course simple to use color is black, which simply turns the image darker as in these two beautiful websites. But we can also use other colors as well and create some beautiful effects with them. And we can do even more. We can use color gradients to achieve stunning effects like these websites do. You can find a link to some beautiful color gradients in the course ebook. However, it is important that you keep in mind what we've learned about colors, which means that you should not just use some random colors, but you already know this by now, right? So please use image overlay with colors other than black or white very carefully. Next, simply putting the text in a box is another easy way to make your text stand out and easy to read like the designer of this website did. The box should be opaque so that you can still see the image beneath it. In this case, a white color with some transparency was used. You can also make the box black or go with some other color that you selected for your design. Just be creative and you will be fine. Yet another solution to put text on images is image blur. And this is very powerful and also good looking in my opinion. You can either blur the whole image like these two websites do or you can use an out of focus area of a photo as the blur like the first of these two websites do. You see that? Now in this case we need to make sure that the text stays on the blurred image part on all screen resolutions. This is particularly important for responsive web design. And now the last method I want to show you is the so-called floor fade. The floor fade is a technique where an image subtly fades towards black at the bottom, with white text written over it. This is the profile page of 500px.com and this uses the floor fade extremely well. So it's almost unnoticeable, but still improving readability, which is exactly what we want. And this would be the same website, but without the floor fade. And in this case, we have a hard time reading some of the small white text down there. So the floor fade increases the text readability dramatically. This means that in situations like this, where you want text at the bottom of an image, this is the perfect solution to go for. Now you may ask, where do I get amazing images like the ones we saw in this lecture for my website. Well, you either already took some great photos for some website you're planning, or you can just get a lot of super cool free images on the internet. There are images for everything you can imagine. As always, I share the best resources with you in the course ebook. And this closes our lecture on working with images. In this lecture, you saw a lot of great websites and those can actually be a good inspiration for you and your websites.